Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Ray, with Kickstands Up 909, back at it with Idiot Dumbass Productions. And uh, I'm gonna get ready for a little motorcycle run. I just wanna get out of town. I haven't been on the bike for. I've been on the bike, I just haven't been out camping or anything like that, and I really wanna get out of here. So, with that being said, I'm going to the Virginia City Roundup. Uh, I think it's thrown by Chopper Gallery or Harley Davidson. Or Chopper Magazine. I think they're throwing it or Harley Davidson. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm just getting out of here for a little bit. But yeah, got the old bike packed up. Sleeping bag, chair, cot, tent. Using these rock straps. These things are amazing. If you guys don't own a pair, I highly suggest getting a pair. But yeah, everything else is pretty much packed up. All the gear. I'm leaving tomorrow, which is a Thursday. And then they're having the event, I think, Friday. Saturday's the... I don't know where they do all the horses and bull riding and all that. I, uh, rodeo. Rodeo. There we go. Yeah, good job, Ray. But, uh, yeah, that's on Saturday. I'll hang out there for a little bit Saturday. Head halfway home Saturday night, and then Sunday I'll finish the last little bit of the leg. So I'll be out, on the, I'll be out for about four days. Not too bad. Three nights, four days. So, yeah, let's get this thing started up and uh, get after it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Ray, with Kickstands Up 909. I'm at my first little stop, getting a little break in. Bike's doing good. Gonna get some gas, get some food. Where am I at? In the middle of nowhere. I have no idea where I'm at. I'm just out here running around, causing a scene. But anyways, I'm gonna fuel up and get back on it. I'm only 187 miles away from where I need to be, so yeah. Anytime. All right, guys, well, I've been riding for about a couple hours now. This is my second stop. I did another 100 miles right now on this jump. So, just gonna get some food in me. I'm only 90 miles from Bridgeport, California. That's where I'm gonna spend the night. So, yeah, got the old tuna, little Twix, some water, Coke. The ride's been going extremely well, very smooth. The wind's at my back, so I'm not fighting the wind coming up here. Weather's 86 degrees, maybe, maybe a little colder. Um, just a great day to be on the bike. Uh, super happy to be out here, stoked. And tonight, where I'm going, I'm gonna try and go to a campground that has hot springs. So, if I can find it, I went on the campsite uh, freecamp.com and they said that there's free camping up there. So, on BLM land, so yeah, I'm gonna cruise up there. Uh, Again, I'm like 90 miles out, so should be there shortly. I'm gonna power through my lunch and then get back after it. Well, guys, I got to where it needed to be, but the thing is, uh, they have hot springs up here, so I decided to uh, cruise up the dirt road a little bit. We came from down there. My campsite's back there. Nobody's there. It's just gonna be me tonight, which is nice. I don't have to hear loud music or people drinking all night. But I want to see these hot springs, so check it out right here. Check this out. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... <laughs> yeah, baby! Gosh, it. Extremely hot water. What a trip. Now, how hot? I don't know. I'm not going to get into it. Knowing my luck, I'll probably be boiled alive, but... I'm not gonna film a whole lot because I know at these uh, hot springs, people tend to get naked. So, yeah, I just wanted to come up here and show you guys that, and now I'm gonna go back and show you my campsite for the night. Share All right, guys, just got to my campsite. It is super, not windy, windy, but it's blowing. So I was over there. That's where the hot springs were at. That's why I just showed you. I'm camping here, little campsite. Nothing fancy. Best part is free. The main road to come in is just right over there. I'm not gonna set up my tent yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into town. I'm gonna get some ice, maybe some um, some adult beverages. Maybe even grab a burger while I'm there. It's still early. It's only four o'clock. But you know what? I'm just gonna I'm not gonna push it today. I think I only did pff, 300 something miles. Like nothing big. Nothing to brag about but there's a few spots 
Got one over there, got one over there. Got this one right here. But there's a fence here. I don't I think that's a no-no. Then I got this right here. I kind of want to get behind that tree or sleep right there to try and keep the wind off me for the night. So yeah. We're running to town though, like I said. Stock up on just a few little things. And then after that, come back, set up, get comfy for the night. Looks like we got one, two, maybe three more hours of daylight. But something tells me when it gets dark up here, it's dark. But I just hope when I leave, none of these people from the hot spring come over here and take a spot. That would suck, then I'd be... I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's like six spots. And if need be, man, I'll just snuggle into something real tight and close and call it a night. Nothing special. So, all right, guys. Let me go get some food and some uh, beverages. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I finally got everything back at camp now. I got the old tent set up. It's just super, super windy out. Uh, I'm not going to really unpack the bike too much tonight because I want to get up and be able to go first thing in the morning. Uh, the tent was a real fighter, man. The wind has like these like strong gusts which just boom and you know the, my rain flies over there, the tent's this way. And then uh, like a genius, I didn't bring any uh, tent stakes. So I got these very fancy tent stakes. Got rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how tonight goes. But uh, yeah, still nobody here. It's just me out here, as you can see. Nice and peaceful, just the way I like it. Not to listen to loud music, nobody going crazy. I can just do my thing and go to sleep. And I'm about 100 miles outside of Virginia City. Saw a lot of bikes already heading up there today. So I don't know how camping's gonna be. Again, I don't have a spot. I don't know where I'm gonna go, how I'm gonna stay. Uh, maybe I'll just do this. I'll find a, I'll find a dirt road. Take it for as far as I can. See if I can't find a nice little pullout area. And that's it. That might be uh, tomorrow's camp. I've already looked at the satellite. There's about two or three spots I want to go and check out. So, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> hey guys, sorry, I almost forgot to tell you. Uh, I didn't do my drone shot for you guys, so I'm gonna send the drone up right now, and then... The home point has been updated. Oh. Please check it on the map. Home point's been updated so we can go fly. I'm not sure with this wind, but we're gonna try. It's not bad right now, it just comes in uh, bursts, but yeah. So I'm gonna send the drone up, send you some cool photos of that, and then uh, show you my dinner. Yeah, cancel me showing you my food. Uh, the wind keeps putting the flame out on my jet stove, or not my jet stove, but my stove. So I'm gonna be eating my food cold tonight. Eh, it is what it is. At least I'm out riding and camping, so enjoy the good times, right? So yeah, I'm pretty much gonna end the video here, guys. Again, look at that beautiful view. Look at that. Man. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to blind you, but look at, look at, look at. Just barely going down. Look at that. Pretty soon it'll be super dark and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. That's pretty much about it, so. <laughs> All right guys, I'll catch up right in the morning. This might be a two part video, just Day one going up, day two up there. So, yeah, we'll see. All right, guys, stay dirty out there, my friends. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I hope you had a better sleep than me. Uh, <laughs> right around 9.30 last night, 10 o'clock, the wind just 
picked up crazy bad. Um, couldn't do anything. I had to actually just stay in the tent. I had to like put stuff in corners because the tent was trying to pick up and fly away. Um, everything is just, yeah. Yeah, one of those days. So I'm gonna get out of this wind area and I'm gonna just go to town, get a coffee, some breakfast. I'm only about, uh, I think 100 miles from Virginia City. Um, the tent did okay. I think it bent a pole, but nothing I could do about it. <laughs> you know, what am I gonna do? In the middle of nowhere. So, anyways, uh, with that being said, I'm gonna try and get out of this windstorm and then uh, get someplace uh, nice and. Look how bad I look. <laughs> yeah, I get some coffee and some food. So, uh, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Well, guys, we just crossed into Nevada. So, we're getting there almost to. Uh, I'm just gonna ride to Carson City first. And then uh, from there, I'll stop, have a break, and then I'll shoot up to um, Virginia City, which is only, I think, 15, 20 miles away. But I think Carson City has a lot more uh, amenities. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been to Virginia City either or Carson, so we'll see. But yeah, what a beautiful day. Hey guys, what's going on? So I just got here to Virginia City, and man, let me tell you something. This, place, this spot has a. Uh, cool little uh, hidden gem up here. Look at the view. That's uh, that's way cool right there. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna roll in town to see what they're doing in there. So let's go check it out. Virginia City was a pretty cool little spot. Virginia City is a town in Nevada, southeast of Reno, up in a little mountain, sitting on the hillside very beautiful the views were amazing it's home to the victorian buildings built during the 19th century mining boom i would later find out from a local as i was talking with him that the pre-party where was having at the piper's opera house was actually haunted they said that locals have seen people in there when the building was closed and they could hear weird noises coming from it at night i had no idea Overall though, the town was super awesome. Really quaint, really quiet. Just a cool spot to go hang out. Pretty cool little spot. I like it, I like it. So I guess that's where the pre-party's going on, right up there at the Opry House. Right all the way up there. Should be good times. Dude, that is a beautiful picture right there. Sunset in the hills over there. Sun's out right there, but it's all gray. It's like it's even raining over there. It's pretty badass. 